Andal be your moderator for today. I'll be your moderator for today. And uh, I want to welcome you to today's webinar, which is coming through to us courtesy of Amani Counseling Center, who are uh, our co-sponsors uh, of the day. And uh, before I, I bring in the speaker of the day, I just want to give us a brief of uh, Amani. And uh, I hope everyone can see my screen. Maybe someone can confirm by waving. Yes, I can see. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Polly. Yeah, so just a brief of Amani. Um, that is our profile. Uh, it was founded in 1979, uh, meaning it has been existing since that time. And uh, the main reason why it was established, uh, just as a counseling service, uh, to provide uh, counseling services. And uh, as you can see, it is uh, the oldest establishment uh, in Kenya, uh, a counseling institution, and also uh, a provider also indeed even in the East African region. Uh, we operate on a vision uh, whereby, sorry, we operate on a vision whereby our vision is uh, to, to serve holistic individuals, communities and organizations in Kenya and beyond where our mission is to professionally facilitate uh, the provision of quality counseling, training and educational programs for the well-being of individuals, communities, and organizations that we get to work with. Uh, meaning, uh, Amani is founded uh, through a Christian foundation. However, it serves all. Eh? So it's not just based on the Christian uh, uh, community or, or, or other population. So we operate under the following values, which is uh, Christian, spirituality, professionalism, integrity, confidentiality, respect, teamwork, and inclusivity. Um, ACTI is registered. We started off as an institution where it was majorly uh, opened to provide counseling and psychosocial support. But over the years, we transited into training, whereby we are certified by Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of Education, sorry, under uh, the Technical and Vocational uh, Education and Training uh, Authority that is under the TVET. Uh, our programs are, are TVET based and uh, assessment uh, are also um, under the TVET and also the, the CDAC. Uh, we also have uh, accreditation from the National Industrial Training Authority, that is the NITA, uh, and then also accreditation. Sorry, someone is not muted. Kindly mute. Um, another thank you. Another accreditation that we have is uh, that uh, we also have accreditation from the Institute of Human Resource Management, that is the IHRM. Uh, and then we also uh, accredited by the Kenya Counseling and Psychological Association, KCPA. And uh, at the national level, maybe just to bring to our attention that uh, we are also recognized, and this is through our executive director who gets to sit in the Kenya Counseling Board uh, at the national level. And at the same time, we are also proud to say that uh, she also got a recognition where she was awarded a head of state commendation through the office of the president. Um, that is how, uh, how acknowledged we are with our work and we are really grateful and proud as a money counseling center. So part of our services is counseling and clinical services. This is both to individual and uh, by the way, we also work with children as low as three years of age, uh, families and groups. Uh, we also uh, offer debrief uh, and counseling sessions. Uh, we have also talked about the training where we have uh, different programs. And uh, one of it is uh, we have uh, a professional counseling and uh, psychology diploma and certificate. We also have uh, social work and community development. Uh, at different levels because it's under uh, Kenya National uh, acc Accreditation. Uh, that is also to say that we also have uh, quite a number of certificate courses. 
counseling and psychology, uh, social work, uh, we have uh, counselor supervision, we have child and uh, adolescents, marriage and family, among others that we get to offer here at Amani Counseling Center. We also have a corporate and out outreach program. Under this, we have uh, partners uh, or organizations that we work with. And uh, under it, we have the employee awareness uh, 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 support programs where we get to have tailor-made uh, programs for organizations. Uh, we work with churches, we work with uh, schools and uh, NGOs just to get to address um, mental health issues to the employees. Um, we also have uh, under project management where we have uh, lobbying and advocacy, where we have uh, um, a, a money coming in to lobby for partnership, uh, to lobby for mental health uh, programs uh, to different stakeholders in the community and uh, at large. So we again currently have a strategic plan that we're operating under which uh, was running from 2021 up to 2025. And uh, those are some of the objectives that we are currently observing, just to ensure number one, that we have efficient, effective and efficient counseling services. Uh, we don't just um, take our clients through counseling session, it has to be effective and it has to be efficient. That is through our counseling services that we get to provide on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have quality, training and education, and that we can see from our accreditations, uh, the different institutions that have given us the mandate to conduct those particular training and offer those uh, uh, certificates and uh, diploma programs. We also have uh, community services and strategic partnership, which uh, falls under the corporate affairs and outreach department, as well as the project management. We also have institutional strengthening, as our core objective. Eh? Uh, just maybe to mention a few of our uh, partners, we have uh, state and non-state agencies that we are currently working with. We also have corporate organizations, quite a number that we get to work with, uh, international agencies that have signed with us uh, on matters mental health and also training facilitation to their different uh, programs that they are under. We also have uh, donor agencies that we get to work with uh, just to help us to provide with the support, the, the work that is done out there. And also the like-minded professionals and academic partners. So that is just a brief of uh, our money and our profile and what we, um, we get to do. I'd like to introduce to us um, the speaker of the day, um, our speaker of the day is uh, none other than uh, Dorosila. She's called Dorosila Akinyi. Dorosila Akinyi is a counseling psychologist. She's also a trainer. Uh, she's also a supervisor. And uh, under Amani, she wears a, a different cap where she gets to head a region, one of our region office, which is uh, Kisumu. Uh, regional office where she is uh, the clinical, uh, she's the admin, um, sorry, where she's the regional coordinator uh, of, of that particular region. Uh, other than that, she is a mother, she is a daughter, and she's also a sister. So, Dorosila, allow me to welcome you in and uh, take us through the presentation of the day. You have our attention. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, Maureen. Um, I just want to mention that uh, as even Maureen was introducing me, I also would just like to mention that she's also head of clinical uh, services in the head office. So thank you so much, uh, Maureen, for that. And um, I sit here with a lot of pleasure, a lot of uh, anticipation on what we are going to be sharing uh, for the next uh, 20 to 35 minutes or so. 
and more or less it is a topic that is very close to my heart. Uh, having been that uh, Amani is in the center of mental uh, health and our business in ensuring that all of us are thinking right, feeling right, and actually uh, being able to enjoy life. Uh, particularly, this topic is on uh, women affairs, not to say that we don't respect the men, but today we just want to talk about the ladies, uh, and we want to make, make it like a sensitization. For those who are listening, you could be sons of somebody, you could be husbands of these women, you could be friends of these women, you could be parents of these women. So we, it is a, a, a combination of efforts to make us happy. So it being that um, we are talking about the mental wellness of uh, women, uh, I would like us, I would just like to pose, you may not answer, but probably is a, a thought uh, to think about. Today, as we see whatever we are um, we may be wondering. Sorry, 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 kona ni, kona issue. sorry just a minute. Eh? Sorry, I, I forgot to mention uh, our, our ground rules. Eh? Kindly to be muted uh, unless you're speaking throughout the conversation to avoid any interruptions. And if you have any question or uh, maybe uh, any question you want to ask or maybe a concern, kindly you can channel it through the chats. Or feel free to raise up your hand so that we can have some some order even as we listen to the presentation and also feel free to even challenge or maybe give a comment uh, even as the speaker gets to uh give us uh, take us through the presentation of the day so thank you thank you so much uh, dorosila thank you maureen um as i was saying uh we could do some me down memory lane and just wonder if today somebody was to ask you, what is the population of uh, the world? Uh, what would it be? What would be your answer? Maybe you may not respond, but just it's a wondering thought that uh, as the world stands today, it is the effort of the woman, though aided by the man, that the population may stand as it is. So today we want to celebrate the woman uh, in a sense that uh, we just want to bring that sensitization of awareness to how best our, a woman can actually self-actualize even though he, she is working with other partners. Um, and maybe to take me forward, I would like to share my screen on what I'm going to be sharing with you so that maybe we just uh, go step by step as we celebrate the woman. We have just finished the last month, that is March, and on the 8th, we actually celebrated the International Women's Day, and we were just celebrating the achievements of the many women in different cadres, different geographical areas. And therefore, as a money, we are thinking that we also need just to re-emphasize uh, the place of a woman so that uh, we get women who are healthy and are able to do their jobs here and there because their work is quite elaborate. So let me share my screen so that we can go step by step and see. Just... Kuna watoto wanapiga kelele kwa background. So Welcome once again uh, on the screen there. Are you able to see Maureen? Maureen, see the screen? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, it's coming through. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for that. So on my screen, uh, I'm actually just welcoming everybody on board, feel at home. This is Amani. Uh, just uh, taking a moment to think about the women, uh, that we, those who are women and the women that are in our lives for those who are men. 
and probably how can we enhance their mental wellness because you can see their work is enormous. So probably we start by just um, beginning to understand who is this woman? Yeah. So some of the things that may describe a woman would be that they are backbones of families and communities. Uh, whoever is in this city, I must believe that we are all products of the efforts of a woman. So we are the backbone of families and communities. Yeah. And then if you could look at the attributes of a woman, though soft, she is strong and brave. Many women from wherever, regional, uh, geographical places, women who've gone through challenges, and yet they've been able to stand firm and actualize their lives. A woman in family life wears many hats. Some are mothers, some are wives, some are sisters in the family setup. And a woman is recognized for her unconditional love. Therefore, her love is unmatched. She is many things, a teacher, a business person, or an academician, a philanthropist. Her worth is endless. I mean, just picture all the women that are in your life. You can imagine that the women are endless. And to be this, to be the backbone of this, these are some of the attributes that a woman may have. Women are confident. They, when they want something, they go to get, they are go-getters. Others do business. When you look at the Forbes magazine, you can actually get a list of women who have done it in business. We have seen even women go to the moon. Yes, we are naturals as women. We are friends, we are advocates. We advocate for many things. We are creative. In fact, when you think of the World International Women's Day, uh, it is as a result of advocacy. By the time this day was being uh, constituted as a world day, it is because women stood out to ask for their rights. So they are advocates for change. So women can be many things depending on where they are. So why are we concerned that uh, a woman should actually be well? Because we have learned that a woman is so many things, and especially that place of a natural, a friend, a family, and everything. Therefore, her mental wellness is of importance to us. Because when the woman is thinking well, when her cognition is OK, mm -hmm. then she's able to do a lot of things because uh, her worth is endless. So from where we see it as men, practitioners, uh, as we sit here to sensitize or to bring to your attention some of the things as a, a counseling institution, some of the things that we have uh, come across and we'd just like to share with you that uh, be in the know that these things could actually be distressing a, a woman. And once this woman is distressed, uh, there are many things uh, that are attached to this. Uh, and some of these things are like financial difficulties. This is not to say that men uh, don't go through this, but again, remember being that you are the natural, the woman, a lot of responsibilities may lie on your shoulders. And therefore, financial uh, freedom is very, very important. But many a times, uh, there are difficulties in achieving this financial freedom. We have childbirth and parenting. The mere fact of carrying a child for nine months and thereafter giving birth has its own challenges. And actually just parenting this child to being an adult. In fact, we are told that parenting has no leave. You are a parent from the day you give birth to the day you go down six, six and uh, the, Rosilla, be, the woman will Rosilla. always be worried. Sorry, Dorosila. Sorry yes, to interrupt you. 
if you could kindly put your uh, presentation on a slide slideshow mode there, eh? kindly, and then also adjust your camera so that we can also get to see you better. Okay. Thank you. All right. Are you able to see me? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I was just talking about um, the woman and her mental wellness. Uh, that a, a woman who thinks right is able to do what she does best in the best of her ability. However, there are times when they could be going through mental distress. And some of this, but uh, these are just but some of the issues that could be affecting a woman. Uh, the issues are, are as many as the, the environment where the woman is coming from. Uh, for example, what I've not put here probably would be things like war, whereby the casualties when the women are left uh, may be well, as, we, as widows, what happens? So uh, there are so many things that could be happening in a woman's life. So uh, in this age of women going to work, having a career, uh, you have a career and at the same time, you're also managing family. So there could be challenges in terms of work-life balance and therefore be uh, a constraint to the woman and actually bring distress. There's the family life. Uh, you are a member of a family. You are either wife, you are a relative, you are a sister. And sometimes this could be straining on the woman. We've heard of other issues like GBV, gender-based violence, whereby conflicts in uh, families, conflicts in marriages could end up affecting the woman in terms of GBV, gender-based violence. We are talking about loss and grief and loss is wide loss in terms of maybe just transfers, loss of maybe uh, moving from one continent to another. But one that is of essence could be divorce and separation because a woman is a natural and naturally would want to have a family that is firm and together. So all this have a mental um, effect on the wellness of a woman. And that is why we're just creating that, um, that sensitization, that awareness, that way that you can actually be looking at a checklist and you'd be saying like, hey, my neighbor, my mother, my sister could be going through this. So for us as a money, we are just coming out to create this awareness so that we don't suffer uh, because we did not care. Because today in this world, people do not care. But we are saying as a money, here we are. We would like to bring this to your attention so that you can actually help somebody. Why are we saying this? Because currently, if you look around, we are seeing so many desolate uh, cases. People are uh, uh, committing suicide. People are taking poison. People are uh, running away from family responsibilities. There are so many issues that are coming up. And uh, some of these things, uh, the, the ones that we have mentioned here, things like drugs and substance abuse. Oh, let me just keep drinking so that this problem goes away. So you will find that the drugs and substance abuse has actually risen. We are isolating ourselves. You will always hear somebody say they will not understand. So you'll find somebody keeping to them, themselves. Therefore, as us who are uh, um, interacting with women, the women's, if there's English like that, the women in our lives, are we noticing these things? Are we seeing these women abusing drugs? Are they isolating themselves from others? Do they have this suicidal ideation where they're saying, I'm worthless, I don't okay. have to be here. Um, I, I have had it all, I want to end it here. There's sadness, there's depression self-neglect. So these are some of the things that are coming up, even as, as a money, as we endeavor to give mental health services like counseling and therapy. These are some of the things we are picking out. And so we are coming back to you as the public, the community, to be aware that this could actually be detrimental to the woman. 
us. We have just uh, mentioned there above that um, today's world, uh, as it stands as of yesterday, we are almost 8.1 billion. That means the input of a woman is there. Therefore, if we need to go on and to continue and to be more economical viable, we need to think about the woman and actually empower this woman. And uh, everything begins by the way we think. Everything begins with our cognition. And when our cognition is not okay, there is a lot that can happen. And what is that that can happen? This is what we have also mentioned here. As I said earlier, this is a sensitization because we need to put our hands together, all of us, to take care of our mental wellness. Because what happens to one person is likely to affect the other person. Therefore, it is important that we know this thing. So some of the effects of mental distress, we are having dysfunctional families, uh, families, single, uh, you know, everybody just being on their own. And as the psychologists, we say that when these families are affected, even the future of the world is not guaranteed because these will be hostile people. These people, these will be distressful people. People will be abusing drugs and therefore we'll be seeing the lifespan of humanity shortening. So it is very, very important that we actually mitigate the mental awareness, especially on women. Uh, neglect of children. The, the way we have said that we nurture, supposing there's nobody to nurture the children, who will actually bring up the children? Because that is a, a, a service that the woman does unconditionally. So very, very important. Uh, when you have you have suicidal ideation, some of us have actually implemented it and they have actually committed suicide. And that is what we are also saying, no, as a money, we are coming out there in the community and saying, please be aware, reach out to somebody so that somebody doesn't have to go down and actually take their life and the cause death, yeah? It affects the society, yeah? Because as we uh, continue being the human beings that we are, as we reproduce and continue with the generations, uh, you can imagine the industries that we have in the world today. They need human beings to work in those industries. We need doctors, we need nurses, we need teachers, we need all these people, uh, chefs, there's nobody who's less, Every, a farmer, name it. Therefore, if we have uh, the mental distress coming up, most likely we are likely to develop um, mental disorders and that this may make you not be functional and probably even shorten your lifespan. So we have to look at it from a very wide perspective. And that is why we are saying that we are making this sensitization to all. We are reaching out that we all have a part to play in the wellness of a woman. Then, of course, if you're not okay, probably you will develop physical sicknesses. Uh, we are noticing uh, that um, stress-related disorders are up, hypertension, ulcers, uh, you name it. So many things are happening. And uh, when your immune is down, probably other diseases are likely to come in. So the mental wellness is very, very important because then it helps you mitigate your immunity because then you'll be able to take care of yourself and uh, take care of your nutrition and thereby become a healthy person. Um, we look at the work perspective. Maureen had mentioned about our workplace uh, program. Uh, sometimes when we go to the workplace, we realize that uh, in the workplace, we may be seeing people being absent. We are going to be seeing people using drugs. We are going to see uh, a lot of things that will actually diminish the output of workers. So uh, when there's mental distress, there's that struggle. Well, do I go to work or do I not go to work? So it is very important that we notice the telltale signs. Yeah, so uh, even poor social relationships, people uh, begin to withdraw from the society. They begin to go quiet. And that is why we are trying to uh, 
make this thing uh, in a way that we are sensitizing. We are telling you people, it's not just about counseling. Even you have a part to play. The fact that you can give a listening ear to somebody that can actually lessen the effects of the mental distress. For, for this particular um, presentation, our focus was mainly on the woman. And therefore, even though the women exist, we still have the men in their lives. And so if the men could be listening in this forum, they would also be at that place whereby they could help the mitigation. For example, when you're talking about uh, divorce and separation, uh, every woman takes pride in having a successful marriage. But again, there are things that could actually happen. And if the men in this group are listening and they may be our ambassadors to others, then we are saying there is room for mediation, there is room for therapy, there is room for counseling so that people don't end up uh, making mistakes which have a lifelong effect. It doesn't only affect you, it may also affect your children and your children's children. So it is very, very important that we keep sensitizing, we keep shouting so that everybody is aware of their mental state and take uh, charge. Uh, from experience, which is also very personal, uh, one or two family members have actually been going through mental disorders. And I can tell you, for those who had those challenges, the medical perspective of managing mental disorders is very, very expensive. So why go that way if only we can actually prevent? And that is why we are talking about the mental wellness of a woman, because when you're okay, then everything goes on well, so that all these things can actually be mitigated. Um, so that now that I've talked so much about some of the negatives of uh, the causes of uh, mental distress, then uh, what is the way forward? Because we need healthy people. We need people who are able to go to work. We need people who are able to go to their businesses. We need people who are able to care for their families. We need people to move our industries, you know, do everything that pertains to the continuation of society, humanity. Therefore, what can we do as we look at the challenges that would have actually affected the women? So one of the things that is very, very key is self-care. Do you take time? to care for you? Do you uh, put aside time to just say that today, I want to think about myself. Yeah. Am I a yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I eating right? Am I sleeping right? Am I associating with my friends and relatives and work properly? And what could be going wrong? We are thinking of you being aware of some of the things that could be bringing you down and therefore begin to take charge, self-care. It is okay to take a back seat and actually take care of yourself because you need that energy. And self-care can come from different perspectives. Uh, you can take a holiday. You can even say now, uh, for every one hour that I get home, I tell my children that please just give me the 30 minutes that I can just rest in the room so that I digest how the day was. But uh, for more information, of course, we are inviting you at Amani. We have our regions everywhere, Kisumu, Mombasa, Nairobi, Nyeri. You could actually come there and you'll be supported through the next point, which is counseling and therapy. Sometimes you're going through things. And from, ex from experience, uh, when you have gone through a session, somebody will tell you that this is something I've never told anybody. That means that there's trust in counseling and therapy. Therefore, if you have that issue that is really, really eating you up and you feel that if I dare say it to somebody, it might just go out. Why don't you try us, come to our money so that everything is handled in confidence. Therefore, therapy can actually work and then you can live a more satisfying life. Yeah, uh, after counseling, probably we may be coming with action plans like uh, join such social support groups 
there are people battling different things in life. And uh, when you join social support groups, you'll realize that um, you are not alone. And that fact that you are just sharing that I am not alone eases the burden of imagining that you are alone. Because we are social beings, we care for each other, and that woman who is feeling so isolated can actually feel supported when she is among people who identify with her issue and are ready to understand and are ready to work with her. So very, very important uh, as a coping mechanism to think of social support groups. Of course, as I, as I had said earlier, that uh, sometimes when the distress is too much, sometimes then it uh, manifests to now a medical situation whereby now uh, the body uh, pathogens are introduced to the body to deal with what has happened, the psychosomatic uh, attributes of too much pressure, too much distress. And that is why we are having quite a number of uh, mental disorders, uh, schizophrenia, uh, dementia, bipolar, all these things. And of course, even as we are talking about this, uh, we say that you can actually get medical treatment. Uh, so for counseling, it's for prevention because prevention is better than uh, curing because sometimes when it go to the level of now using medicine, you may not have the money. You may not be in a position to actually uh, take care of that sick person who is uh, incapacitated. That is why we are saying, yes, there's medical treatment, but it can actually be avoided. And that is why we are saying, uh, come for therapy before it is too late. As I end, um, because this discussion is not over, as I end, uh, there are a few quotes there. Uh, there. There's a few information there about our money, but I want to take it back to Maureen. Maybe there's something that is uh, on the on the on the charts that maybe needs to be addressed. Uh, Maureen, over back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dorosila. And even before I look at the chats, allow me to appreciate that uh, wonderful conversation that you've had with us uh, as women. And also I've seen some men around here who are also in our lives as women. So we really appreciate that. And of course, just the way Dorosila has mentioned, the conversation has not ended or will not end here. We will keep on having more and more of the same. Uh, even as we continue with the, the rest of the year, we have a number of webinars that we've set, uh, or rather we planned for, that we could all benefit from. So um, maybe just to read from the chats, uh, uh, Rosilla, uh, there is editor, Jaggi, who is uh, appreciating the session. Uh, the person is mentioning that the sessions are very empowering. Um, I've also seen one from uh, um, a client, or rather one of our, our audience, asking if we can share uh, the presentation. Uh, we will get to see, maybe you can leave your email behind, then we get to see uh, the possibilities of that. Uh, a brochure, kindly send us your email. Uh, thank you very much, Lucy. Kindly send us your email on the chat box, and for sure the marketing department will pick that up. Dorosila, you've been appreciated uh, by Veronica. She says, great presentation, Madam Dorosila. Thank you, Veronica, on behalf of Dorosila. Uh, Lucy has also appreciated uh, the presentation. Um, uh, thank you, Eunice. Um, I hope the marketing department is picking that up for the brochure. Yeah. Uh, Maureen, which brochure? For the webinar, I'm sorry, we don't send it out. The courses. For, for courses, yes, we can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She's asking, Lucy is asking for the brochure through the email for your short for our short courses. Eh? Okay, let me get it and I'll send her. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, wonderful presentation uh, from Maria Wambui. Thank you so much, Maria. Oh. Appreciating, Polly is also appreciating. So 
Um, someone has mentioned they've joined in late. Nevertheless, we appreciate that you managed to join in. Thank you so much. Aha, there's a comment here from Akini. Uh, maybe you can comment about it, Sila. Uh, Akini is saying that uh, women and mothers need support groups indeed. I don't know what your your take is that uh, is on that. Mm. What I can say is that uh, human beings are social beings, and we need to relate. And uh, in this current world, human beings are going through a lot of things, and especially the women. And therefore, support groups create a forum for sharing uh, issues, difficulties, journeying together, so that we can look for options. Uh, if you can say that uh, counseling is about giving you that safe space to be able to acknowledge what you're actually going through and also giving you an opportunity to uh, you look for options that can best suit you at that particular time. So when you are in a so support group, for example, you will be able to have listened to quite a number of uh, ideas from the participants or the, the size of the group. For example, maybe you're just a group of 12 or maybe you're six or you're eight. And uh, if you're all facing a similar challenge and uh, number participant one, the other one, they, they all have different ideas. When all these ideas are kept together, then you're actually given an option and then it makes life easier. So then you're able to be supported emotionally, financially, and uh, the likes. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you so much uh, for that response. And also I, I also want to remind the audience that we also uh, offer, it could also come in as a part of a supervision. Maybe if you have a group or maybe uh, at your workplace uh, with your colleagues, we could do it even through uh, a group supervision huh? where we just get to share uh, common issues that are affecting us yeah, as women yeah, or maybe uh, in that organization that you can get to process together uh, with the group members that you'll have formed. We are very much available for that kind of a support. Huh? We have those services here at Amani. Uh, 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 I don't know the name, but uh, it has mentioned that this is a life-changing session, a real family therapy. I want to believe family in the sense that, you know, it's, it's a women thing. So we are just here to be enlightened with the common issues that we get uh, to experience. Huh? Um, thank you. A comment again mentioning that it's a very powerful conversation. We appreciate that. Um, this is a comment from Nancy Jemchai. Uh, she's saying that self-care is very important. We shouldn't feel guilty as women when we take time and space to take care of ourselves. Yes, I agree. There is a saying that Self-care is not being selfish. Eh? It's just being deliberate, uh, choosing to, you know, just to create that space for yourself, eh? to unwind, to recharge. So I really want to agree with you on that. Um, a question, are there uh, online courses? I want to say, yes, we have quite a number. Uh, we have both virtual and uh, uh, physical classes. Um, I think if you can share with us your contacts, we will get in touch with you uh, on that. Uh, Amani uh, is, is requesting, or rather we are requesting if you can send the, email, the, the questions, or maybe the request that you have through our email. I think it will make it easy for logistics sake, so then we can, we can get to address them accordingly so that we don't miss out. Eh? So kindly send your... Uh, questions or maybe request to our info um, uh, email so that we can get to um, connect with you and even get to explain to you further in regards to the services or the questions that you brought forth. So I don't know if there is any burning question. We have like five minutes to go. Do we have any burning question or comment? Maybe someone wants to say something. I don't want to lock anyone out. You have um, our attention. Maybe we can have one or two, just a comment. Thank you, Anne, you're most welcome. And we'll keep on sharing uh, in our different forums. 
uh, when we get any, every time we have new and, and more webinars, you're most welcome. So I guess we are okay. Donosila, I hope you're still there. Yes. You've had the comments, uh, the appreciations. Yes, I've heard. Yeah. And uh, maybe a trainer being a trainer, a counselor being a counselor who cares for, uh, you could say, the flock huh? from a mental perspective. It's just an appeal that um, no great, whatever is happening in your life, uh, there's always a solution. Uh, don't take uh, a drastic measure that is negative. Uh, I sometimes come across, especially the young, the age bracket of uh, 18 to about 35, they are getting a lot of challenges. And um, reach out, reach out so that you don't lose your life. We are not uh, immune to social media. I cry out when I hear that somebody has lost their life because they were going through depression. And that is why I'm just emphasizing that there's no shame. Nothing that is going through your life should you be ashamed of somebody. Uh, and especially if you feel that the shame is too big, please seek therapy. We have our, um, we have our, uh, the, the trauma response, community trauma response units that work among the community. And sometimes when you hear that there's their money, a trauma response uh, uh, on site, though our focus is on uh, cancer fighting, but we are open to anybody who could be going through pain. So in our centers, we have the trauma response. And sometimes those people who are working under that program, they are fully fledged counselors, but since they are working with the community, sometimes you may not, not sometimes, actually you don't pay so long as you're under that program. So maybe if you feel that the money is too much, come and we shall be put, we'll put you, or we shall see how we can assist because you don't need to lose your life because you don't have money, especially for the young. Uh, my heart goes out to you. I've been handling a lot of young people who are going through a lot of challenges. Please do not lose hope. There's always hope. There's always a good tomorrow. So that is what I can really emphasize, that a man is available, is willing, and it is here to, to help. Thank you very much, Maureen. Over to you. Maureen? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you for that emphasis, uh, Dorosila. Um, I'd like to give uh, some... We have number one, we have two, we have uh, Maureen? Maureen? Yes? Yes? I would like to share some online courses that we have, if it is okay. Okay, okay, okay. Please take it away, Esther, and please introduce yourself. Yes. Good afternoon. My name is Esther Jira. I'm the marketing officer of Amani Counseling Center and Training Institute. We are really glad that you joined us today in today's webinar. So we have got some people asking about the online courses. Yes, we have various online courses. And I want to interest you to one online course that we are having. We started it one class this Monday and we are having the second class coming Monday. It is online and it is in the evening. So this short course will empower you with skills to handle different losses, starting with the ones of losing a loved ones or losing relationships or any other circumstances or developmental stage. So please, you are most welcome and it is very fair. We have a special discount. So I would encourage us to log into this program. At the last time we are offering it at 5,500. So it's running two evenings in a week, Mondays and Tuesday for five weeks. 
So you are most welcome. And we also have another online short course. This one is an introduction to counseling. We call it communication and basic counseling skills. It is an essential course for everybody. It is an essential course for everyone. So it enhances life. It also helps in communication. It will run on Saturdays. It will be online. Full That's day awesome. for four Saturdays. And in addition to the training that you receive, you'll also get to be counseled three sessions. So you can reach out to a money counseling center and we'll be able to give you more details. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you, Dorosila. This was very powerful. You've done very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, in the spirit of... Uh of uh, just a, as a continuation from Esther, I'd like to appreciate and uh, also thank our sponsor, who is uh, Amani Counseling Center, for making this possible for us, and also the logistics uh, that were involved to make this webinar a success. Um, also to you, our listener, uh, for being fully present and uh, also keeping the conversation lively and interactive, that is through your chats and uh, the feedback that you've been able to give us through the webinar, we really appreciate that. Um, we urge you to feel free to uh, continue giving us feedback, especially on the topics that you'd like us to uh, present, uh, uh, on the issues that you feel you'd benefit better or more. Uh, we think we still have a number of webinars lined up, uh, so maybe you could give us through our info, uh, email, would really appreciate. And you can also continue following us on our social media handles. That is on Facebook and also on uh, Twitter. Uh, for any updates, we do post a lot of uh, uh, updates on uh, uh, the counseling services, the trainings that are, are coming up that you feel you could uh, benefit from or maybe your significant others. We really welcome you, uh, even as you continue interacting with us. And uh, as I also end, I want to imagine that some of us have been asking ourselves when uh, the presenter was talking about uh, issues to do with GBV. Uh, when the presenter was talking about issues. Jen, kindly mute. Sorry, sorry about that. Huh? So I'm sure we were asking ourselves, huh? what do we, where do I get help? How do I get to address those issues? Uh, perhaps maybe you are a woman who has been, you know, entrusted with a lot, maybe from work, from home, and uh, a lot is happening around that you don't even know where to start from as far as even processing those issues are concerned. I want to say that is the reason why we've had this webinar to create awareness uh, to offer hope that uh, there's nothing that uh, does not have a solution, just the way the speaker said, it's an emphasis. We can always get support through counseling as an option, as an intervention towards that. Uh, the good thing is that uh, regardless of where you are, because I want to believe, again, this is a forum where we've had people joining from far and wide. Uh, our counseling services can be done both virtually and also physically, what you need to do is just to get in touch with us. They are open on a working basis. Uh, anytime during our working hours, which is between eight to six o'clock, that is Monday to Saturday. And uh, we would be willing to take you the process of registration and even to get to allocate to you a counselor who will help you to resolve the issues that are there. So whatever has come through for you, kindly don't leave it pending. We can always continue the conversation through our counseling services. So thank you, thank you so much. I've seen some suggestions. Thank you so much, Fiona, we will pick them and uh, um, I'm sure we'll get to organize for more webinars. Uh, sorry for those of us who are asking about um, recording. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, you had interruptions from your end. Uh, though we don't get, we don't share the, the webinar recordings uh, kindly, uh, what I can encourage maybe is just uh, to keep you updated in case we have any uh, upcoming so that you can also get to update yourself. But for this particular one, 
we are not in a position to share uh, what has been done, but basically we're just talking about the woman and mental health and uh, uh, how we can, we can get to address different issues uh, that we get to encounter, even as uh, we, go to, we go through our day-to-day -day, uh, lives and activities as women. And I'm sure uh, just like um, some of us who have given us uh, their remarks, I want also to say that I have really, really been enlightened by today's um, conversation. Thank you so much. I feel affirmed, especially for self-care, uh, because that is one thing that I've really, really been deliberate on, uh, just to take care of myself in the midst of a lot that could be happening around me. So we thank you so, so much for keeping it uh, with us for that one year, one, one, uh, one hour, thank you. Uh, from Amani, on behalf of Amani, we just want to say thank you. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you in future webinars. So thank you so much. You can, you can live at your own pleasure. Asante. Thank you. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you.